Hello Internet, it's Olivier and today I'm going to talk about the safety when painting. So it's not the most interesting topic but I've never covered it before in a video so I thought I'd do one today. So I've come up with five ways to stay safe when painting. Um, I'm going to keep this video quick because it's as I said, it's not the most interesting topic, so let's just uh, keep rolling with it. So number one is to keep the area well ventilated. So open the windows, open the doors, everything you can keep the, the place really well ventilated. Even in the winter when it's cold, you need some fresh air. Um, I've painted, I'm gonna talk about the mask in a minute, but I've painted a toilet once and I nearly died. I was just like, no way, man. I had a, a mask on, but it didn't, it was just not ventilated enough. So these filter the, the air but they don't provide fresh air they're not air fed mask and again i'll talk about that in a minute so the best thing you can do is have loads of ventilation um, when you're using spray paint it's obvious that you need uh, protection like a mask gloves all that stuff but when you're using um, brushes people tend to think well that's just brushes you don't need um, any protection but when you use oil-based paints um, it's really bad for you. Like I've just painted some for a client um, about two weeks ago and there was just so much, the whole thing was oil-based paint. And it's a good thing that uh, big double doors uh, where I was painting, so I could, open the, um, I could open the doors and have some ventilation. But if not, I mean, I was coughing all the time and because of COVID, you don't want to be, you know, seeing coughing so much. So open the, um, just have as much ventilation as possible. Um, which brings me to number two, the mask. Um, so even if you're using brushes with oil-based paint, it's recommended to use a mask. So the, the difference between uh, using oil-based paint with brushes and oil-based paint in a spray can is the spray can has particles that float because it's so light um, when you're painting you've got this mist of, of paint and gas um, floating around so it's easier for you to breathe it but when you're using oil-based paint with a brush you still have the same fumes you just don't have the particles because it's thicker and then you know you you apply it with a brush it doesn't float in the air so it's still bad for you and i would still recommend using a mask so the mask can i use So this is the mask I've been using for years. It's by 3M, it's disposable. And uh, you gotta be careful because they, they have a few different masks and they look exactly the same. The number for this is 06941. And this one will protect against um, vapors, particles, um, yeah, particle vapor. So if you're doing MDF or spray painting, all that kind of stuff, this is gonna be good. It's also good because it's really small. So when you're painting, it's not in the way. And uh, The, <clears throat> the mic is not gonna like this, but they're really out of the way when you're painting and uh, they're really comfortable. The only time it gets a bit tricky is when it's really hot. Um, you can't breathe in them because of the plastic. So sometimes I'm in the sun and I've got this and you're sweating and just, just can't breathe. So in a video, I can't tell you not to wear a mask, uh, but obviously if you're an experienced painter, you would fill in the blanks. But every time you can, you want to wear um, a mask, an uh, appropriate mask. If you wear like um, a paper mask or, or all of these N95s or all of whatever, when using spray paints, you're wasting your time basically. They don't protect you at all. They protect you against the particles, like all the spray, um, all the spray droplets of paint. That's going to stop most of them. But the fumes, you're still going to breathe the fumes. So yeah, when you're doing spray painting, you need a proper mask. Also the gloves. That's number three. So I used nitrile gloves. Nitrile is plastic and uh, or PVC or something. And when you use those, you can you can spray paint for like you know five six hours no problem, and they're not going to tear. If you use latex, after ten minutes the the plastic is going to dissolve and they're going to start tearing. Uh, they come in different sizes. Um, I use extra large obviously for, for my hands, and they're really comfortable when you're painting. And um, Another thing as well is if you don't wear gloves, it's uh, it takes forever to take the paint off. What you can do once you go, if you haven't worn uh, gloves and you got paint on your hands, you can just um, wear gloves afterwards because your hands will sweat and it'll make the paint come off. 
but it's toxic and it's not good for your skin so it's always best to have gloves on so that's number three number four hat so it's actually not good for your scalp when you're painting to have the paint fall on um, on your scalp it's not good on your skin anyway but on your scalp it's really not a good thing so whenever you can it's always good to wear a hat or a cap or any kind of protective thing for your uh, for your hair that's going to be a big thing even though i don't have much i want to protect what i got left so wear a hat is a good one and number five last but not least take breaks because it doesn't matter how much uh, ventilation you got how much protective gear you've got and everything you need a break you need actual fresh air you need to go outside breathe some fresh air what we do as mural artists is not the you know healthiest uh, thing we, we could be doing so um, we protect us, uh, ourselves as much as we can but the best thing is just to take breaks it's also good for the work because it's good to have um, to take a break take a step back and see what we've done you know and, and work better so take many breaks and that's going to help you a uh, quick quick thing about the masks again um sometimes so say if you're doing this is more for um like painting cars and stuff like that uh, if you if you're going to work in a booth you may you may see those like big astronaut sort of um outfits so these are air fed masks so you've got a full face mask with um, protecting your eyes also i didn't mention glasses but um, if you're going to be spraying a lot having glasses whether sunglasses or just protective glasses is a good thing but an air fed mask is basically a, a mask that's closed and you've got a tube with your own um, oxygen coming through so these are much better because you've got a full suit on and then you know you're not um the mask is not filtering the paint it's it's got no contact with the outside air you literally have your own um, supply of oxygen so these are the recommendations i've got for you um, stay safe out there and have fun painting i will see you next monday